They okay? Is it? Being in the band is the best, but if you so I love how we went ride. straight from it. Like I remember starting playing at the Climax Lounge. Yeah, yeah. first show ever. Was that the Climax show? Ever? It was a punk rock show. The Anarchists, Grozny Bastards. Both colors, uh, three grams, of course. Repercussions, and for some odd reason, um, Panic Pills and Mayhem Medicine was on it too. Wait, what? That's one of our what? songs. That's one of our songs. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, sleeping Aids and Razor Blades. That's, that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's weird. That like totally works. <laughs> we weren't awful, but you know, we would have two people in front of us, and the only movement was them leaving. And then uh, it turned into like just a handful of like loyal people that come out. And like it morphed from them standing there to like some people start moving, and then there would be just like a few people there, but they'd go all crazy. Yeah. That's kind of when I felt like we were onto something. Yeah. And then like we got to all of a sudden land this show playing with Fishbone, which was uh, a really great time. And before you know it, we're just like getting these really then, cool then, shows. Then you know, then after that, we played with Fishbone again and the Mad Caddies, and it's been all kinds of crazy. Ups. Like, now we have fucking the Gothic going from side to side. Just We went from having uh, Mark Swan in the in the shadows behind uh, a keyboard. To having them, you know, like stage diving and fucking climbing off of shit. Mark elbowed me in the head. I think I elbowed so many heads, and I think a lot of them were girl heads, and I feel really bad. You? Uh, I don't feel so bad. We're playing our CD release at Moe's Barbecue for Words Are Not For Eating, the two songs in. Yeah, in the second. Song. And I didn't even feel anything. I just suddenly was on the floor because I'm stomping around and I just kind of fall. Oh. I look down. And like everybody's ready to start the next song and I grab the microphone and I'm like, guys, I think I broke my leg. <laughs> And I look over and my and my kneecap is oh. <laughs> the sound guy came up and he was like, Well I guess we just gotta cut the set and like Zach Ever the professional was like over his bass drum going like, No dude, we'll do what we can <laughs> I think Danny said if if you guys if you don't let these guys play then they're gonna have a riot. Yeah. So but like <laughs> last second my I, I just like relaxed and it went like bloop. <laughs> Hey everybody uh, I have no idea, it doesn't feel broken, but uh it's <laughs> I got up, I could bend it, they sat me down in a chair and we did like, what, an hour and a half? Yeah, it was a great chair and it was so set. fun. They're fucking drunk assholes and no one likes them. Hey, okay, is so the most terrible band, but I'm kidding. Holy shit, there was fire. I love the AOKs. They're the greatest Scott band ever to come out of Denver. I think they're my uh, favorite band in town. They're like one of the three best punk rock bands in Colorado. 
to the first band that I saw, and I just stuck with them ever since. I mean, the guys are fucking awesome. They really engage the crowd, man. They have a lot of fucking energy, and it's great. They have made many shows so much better by them being on the bill. The music to the performance is fucking intense and amazing, and a testament to how talented they are. They inject what Denver is, like fun and not giving a shit. We put on great shows, at least some of the best ones in Denver, at least the most fun. They're super awesome, nice people, and they fucking put on, I think, one of the best shows I've ever seen in a venue band, actually. They're all about like having fun and a good time. The AOKs know how to party. We'll leave it at that. They bring a lot of positivity to the scene. Hey, okay, this was my first Scott show I've ever went to. I got into a mosh pit and I got a dead tooth. I had to have a root canal. They made my life. They brought me into this world of Scott. I am forever grateful for everything they've done. Here I was being all bummed out, being alone at punk shows, been going for about a year. And I, I go to an AOK show and I'm like, these guys are talking to me. I'm like, these are the nicest guys ever. We're good friends now. Those guys are my family. They're fucking really fantastic human beings. They're some of my favorite people on earth. I don't know what I'd do without them. I wouldn't be the person I am today. I wouldn't know half the people I know if it wasn't for the AOKs. They were the only reason I got into the local scene in the first place. They were, they were the only reason I have friends. I would not have any sort of life without them, and I don't think that they understand how much of an impact they've had on me. And I love them, and I wish them the best. Um, I'm just really glad that they've made it five years, and I hope they go another 50. I want the best for those dudes. It's been a great five years. Looking forward to more. You guys keep doing your thing. We love you guys. We went through hell and back together, and it was fucking great, and I hope they have another fantastic five years. It's going to be awesome. And I hope you guys are playing for another five years, and I hope I'm doing your merch for another five years. I love you guys. Mwah. They're A-OK. -okay. No, they're better than A-OK. -okay. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> it didn't go at all like we planned it. <laughs> I love them. This is going to be the greatest show of all time.